Well, nurses will strike from 8pm this evening until 11.59 on Monday night. Unite Ambulance Workers will walk out the following day, immediately after the bank holiday. The Royal College of Nursing promised there are measures in place to provide critical care for neonatal and paediatric intensive units. Members will also leave the picket line to provide what's described as life and limb cover in intensive care and for accident and emergency departments, as Paul Kelso now reports. Mariuka qualified as a psychiatric nurse just three years ago, but despite rapid promotion, her basic take-home pay is £1,700 a month and she has to work up to 60 hours a week just to make ends meet. It's a constant struggle and thinking about it. When you come, you work 12 and a half hours, you sit in here and you have to think, can I buy food, electricity or fuel in a car? The basic things, it's embarrassing. So you live on your own, your children are grown up, but you still have to work a 60 hour week. Just yes. talk to me, just yes. explain that to me. Yes, I do, because otherwise I don't have money to pay for my rent, my council tax, and on top of this I had to pay my student loan back. The cost of living squeeze is a major driver of strike action by nurses. A 28 hour walkout by members of the Royal College of Nursing that employers say may be the most disruptive yet with only life and limb care guaranteed over the bank holiday following negotiations with the union. I accept that on days of strike that services do not have the same level of nursing staff. There are national exemptions in place for a range of services, for emergency departments, for intensive care units, for neonatal units, paediatric intensive care units, those really acute urgent services. <laughs> The NHS Staff Council, comprising all health unions, meets on Tuesday and is expected to accept a 5% pay offer, a below inflation settlement the Health Secretary says is fair. The Staff Council is due to meet on Tuesday. I'm cautiously optimistic that the, uh, the Staff Council will agree uh, to then vote in favour of the deal. But I think it's right to wait until Tuesday for the Staff Council to meet and this strike is premature. Yeah. For patients like Ron, waiting for a lung transplant for 20 months, and his wife Maxine. The prospect of strikes affecting intensive care brings another worry in the daily wait for news. I've waited 20 months for a very serious operation, and maybe with the strikes, I don't know whether I'll lose that chance to get my transplant, which is a life-saving transplant, because at the end of the day, my, my deterioration is worsening. I could lose that one opportunity. I'll never know, but... It, that might be the case. If he has to go to hospital, it's, you know, will he get the treatment he needs? So, yeah, I should be glad when it's over and then I will feel a, bit, a lot more relaxed. The RCN says it will ballot its members on further strike action. The result will reveal whether a long winter has exhausted the appetite for dispute. Paul Kelso, Sky News.